The HR145 is a dual Rockwell and superficial Rockwell tester. The features include a superficial hardness range, the standard Rockwell hardness range, it is semi-automated, has programmable LCD display, it is easy to use, and economical. The HR145 dual Rockwell slash superficial Rockwell tester. The Rockwell tester can be used in two different modes for this unit. One is in the Rockwell load range, which would be the range of 60, 100, and 150 kilogram load. The superficial, if this is knob is turned over to the S, would be lower loads, which would be 15, 30, and 45 kilogram loads. Right now we're set up in the Rockwell mode, and at 150 kilogram major load, this will coincide with the C scale. So the way the operation works here is we first go ahead and align our sample. And once that's aligned, what we do is we'll go ahead and turn the screw so that we're loading the sample. Now in this unit, it goes up to 580 on the scale here, and then you'll hear it chirp. So then at this point, uh, we're applying the minor load for a set dwell time of, in this case, five seconds. So now it's counting down. And then the major load will be applied, which is the 150 kilograms. And you see we get a value of 64.1 HRC, which coincides with the standard for this test block. Now let's go ahead and back off the load. Now after we back off the load, we actually can now print it. So if we press PRT here, we'll hear that the values are being printed out. The other thing is that we can do is if we hit the DISP or the display, it will show the last measurements that we've made. In this case, we've done five measurements. And down here, it'll give us the minimum, the average, the maximum. And this is also what's been printed over to the printed paper as well. The HR145 control panel. We have an LCD screen here that's going to give us the information that's either the conversion, the dwell time, the measurement number, the hardness, for example. Uh, if we press the Rev1 button down here, this will show us our parameters. So let's go ahead, we see the flashing cursor here, let's go ahead and move that up to the top so we have limits. And this will give us a go and no go for our measurements. And this is where we can set an upper limit and a lower limit. And if we don't want that, we'll just click that off. The next variable that we can change is the actual scale. And right now we have the unit set for the Rockwell scale. So we have 60, 100, and 150 kilograms listed up here. And you see for the different indenters, we also have different scales. Right now we have a diamond indenter at 150 kilograms, so we're we will be measuring Rockwell C. So let's go ahead and leave that. Then the time, that will be the date stamp that will go to the printer. The dwell time, this is how long the primary load or the major load will be applied to the sample. Convert, let's go ahead and go up there. Convert, if we want to convert it to a another scale, we can electronically do that. It should be noted that you have to be a little bit careful when you're making the conversion because they're not a one-to-one -one mathematical correlation. So let's leave that at the HV, which would be Vickers. And so that's what the parameters are that are set in this menu. And we press OK to get out of that menu. Now, PRT will be the print function, so after we make the measurements, we can actually print those out. Clear, this is if uh, when we first turn on the unit, this is not measuring zero with no load to the indenter. We'll want to press that to clear this or re-zero it. Delete, this will allow us to delete the 
previous hardness measurement if for some reason that uh, there was something wrong with that measurement. And display or DISP, if we press this, we'll see what our past measurements have been. Up to this point, we've made five measurements. So let's go ahead and make an indent. So you can see as we apply the load, this will increase up to about 580. And so the minor load is being applied. And now it's been shifted over to the major load, which will count down the dwell time to zero. And after that counts down to zero, it will give us our hardness measurement. In this case, we have a measurement of 65.5 Rockwell C. Now if we back off the stage and then press print, it will print out the results that we've obtained to this point.